Hi, I'm Ian and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to attempt to clean the sensor on my Canon 5D Mark II. Now I want to point out at this stage that this is the first time that I've done this job. I've looked online and I've seen several videos uh, from people who have done this many times before and they've given a really good explanation as to how you're supposed to do this. So I'm following their lead. Check out Doug McKinley. Uh, he's got a really good video on uh, on cleaning sensors. Gives you all sorts of tips, and I would recommend I would recommend watching that. Uh, but what you're going to see today is somebody who's watched the other videos and now says, "Well, oh, can I actually do that myself? Uh, what are the pitfalls?" Let's hope there are no pitfalls because I don't want any pitfalls with this camera. I want it to go smoothly. Um, the kit that I've got, I've got a VSGO air blower with, and I've also bought uh, the Dust Patrol 8-piece sensor cleaning kit which comes with uh, an anti-static brush and some swabs and cleaning fluid and a pen for something, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, we'll see. Um, and these swabs which are actually the right size for this particular size sensor because there's a full full frame sensor in this camera so it has to be a certain size swab the idea being that you move the swab across the sensor once and that's it if you used a smaller one you would have to go across it a couple of times and therefore you might end up putting dirt back onto the, the sensor or making a, a streak of uh, dirt across it so you get the right size you get the right size swab but that's not difficult to do okay uh, the other piece of equipment that I've got magnifying glass I don't have a loop so I thought for looking inside the, the sensor I'm going to use a magnifying glass I don't know whether that will work very well or not and a torch The other thing that we need is plenty of light. Okay, so I've already cleaned down the outside of the, the camera and I've already taken a test photo which I'll show you now. If we look at this image of the sensor we can clearly see two marks and if we zoom into 100% it shows the size of the mark we need to remove. Okay. Let's get the lens off. Put that out of the way. Okay. Turn the camera on. Go to sensor cleaning. Clean manually. Mirror lock up. Okay, just check my battery again. The battery is 100%, which is extremely important because, as other people will have explained, if the battery goes flat the shutter will close and you could end up with your brush jammed inside. Okay. Let's see what I can see. Actually the um, magnifying glass is working excellent. You can see inside really well. See some tiny, tiny pieces of dust inside. See some dust still inside there. Still some dust inside there, which is quite stubborn. Right. We put the lens back on, we'll take another test shot and we'll see what the improvement is. Oh dear, it looks like we've got even worse condition this time. And if we look at the sensor here, we've got a particularly heavy mark, which must be removed. So let's do it again, this time using the, the brush. Sensor cleaning, let's have another go. Okay. 
That's not coming off. Well, they're about 20 pounds for that brush, but that didn't take anything off. So. Right, at the moment, I'm not too happy because I've, uh, I've blown it out and I've tried it and it was a little bit better, but I couldn't get all of the dirt out. Uh, I used the, the brush and as you can see on the, the image here, that um, it looks worse. It looks worse than what it was before. Um, and now I'm going to open it up, have another look, and then I'm going to have to go in towards the swabs. Just get the, the top off there. I'll not take that out until I'm ready to use it. Okay, that's ready. Swab's ready. Okay, let's open it up and have another look at this. Yep, I can see it from here. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a small piece of a small piece of coal or a, a pebble out of the garden or something like that. That's what it looks like. It's big enough. Disappointed. I'm a bit worried. I was half expecting not to have to use this. I'm going to use it. I'm going to go in sideways. Make sure I've got my hand in the right position. Three drops. It's not coming off. And that's not coming off. Okay, one more attempt at cleaning the sensor. Let's put some fluid on here. Drips. Just rest it on the sensor. Okay, so I've got a mark on here which will not come off. I've used the blower, the brush, the cleaning fluid, it won't come off. So I'm now going to use a pen. The pen that they have supplied. I'm going to have one more go with, a, with one of these and then it goes to Canon. Eventually, I've managed to clean the sensor. 
had a few problems. I uh, went through all the wipes that I had. Um, I had a really stubborn mark on the, the sensor that uh, I just I really struggled to get off. Got it off in the um, end. One of the things that I did find was, although they say when you use these, you've got to be very, very gentle and you've got to move it backwards and forwards just the once and that's it. I, I couldn't, couldn't move the mark at all. And what I ended up having to do was put some more uh, droplets onto the swab and I used a used swab for this. I didn't go for another new one. And I soaked the, I could see where the, where the mark was and I sort of soaked that area, just a very small amount and you could see it dissolving the, the mark and then I wiped it across much better and then I used another clean brand new one did the backwards and forwards wipe with one the, the very last swab that I had and that eventually cleared it up but it was a lot more difficult to get all of the marks off um, than just simply wiping it back and wiping it forward and, and thinking that it's all going to be done it wasn't on this there were some very stubborn marks but it, uh, it's, I would say, 90% better than it was before. So I'm quite happy. And I'm very pleased that I've been able to do it myself. And I've learned a little bit more. And if that helps anybody to, uh, to realise um, that it can be done, and that we can do it, and you just take a little bit of time, a little bit of thought, but but don't be overly gentle. Uh, you've got to use a, a reasonable amount of um, pressure to clean the sensor, or at least I did. This is just me cleaning my camera. I wouldn't want to even think about cleaning anybody else's camera, uh, but I would certainly do it again on my camera if I have a problem. Um, so that's it. I hope that's been some help to somebody. If it has, Give us a thumbs up. I, I would like that. That would be good. Uh, and if not, well, sorry, mate. Hope I haven't wasted your time. Okay, so that's Ian saying thank you very much. I really appreciate you uh, watching. Bye.